When moving from spectator to participant, you may experience aches and pains. Instead of giving up the activity, give up the pain. Call Aurora Sports Medicine Institute for a free injury evaluation. Aurora Sports Medicine Institute, the choice of Marquette Athletics. against the UT Martin Skyhawks. Walking to the Bradley Center on game day, Wojo's first game as a college head coach. I mean, wow. Defense starts on offense. We talked about it. It's just a review. I've done pregame as a head coach. I've done pregame as an assistant for two other head coaches, and it's all different. On the offensive side, Coordinated transition. Yeah, we talked about the technical things and the schematic things, but you know, at the end of the day, we we were going to have to fight. Listen, it's going to be a dog fight. And so when you're going over scouts and preparation, which was, you know, it was it was his fifth. So you know, the level of detail was was, was there. But then Wojo comes in, and he's Wojo. <laughs> Classic Wojo, classic. I mean, what else? <laughs> what else, right? Because that's who he is. That's who Steve Wojciechowski is. He's a fighter. He's a winner. When I first saw the word, it took me back to my childhood. I had an older brother and, you know, of course, sibling rivalries. And my brother and I, we would literally fight almost every day. But we would be friends again two minutes later. And so when I see that word, it reminds me of my brother and I, so then I look at the guys to my left and to my right. And I consider these guys my brothers, and so I'm gonna fight for my brothers. They didn't need more words. And so it was great. The energy in the room, it was like, <laughs> this is gonna get done tonight. The Marquette Golden Eagles begin a new era under head coach Steve Wojciechowski. Walking out for the first time was, was a dream come true. Just another place that, that basketball has taken me. Walk out at a program like Marquette as the head coach for the first time is something, you know, I will always remember. And I feel very fortunate that I had the opportunity. First time down, we're going to go horns wide. Execute, make them play defense. Share, leave it all out on the court, fellas. Come on. Let's go, Let's go. Go. Let's go. win on three. One, two, three, win. Ball, stop ball. Who you got? Help, help. He's done. Discipline. Get that, get that. Slap, slap. It was a very strategic game. I mean, he really had to do a lot of coaching. I mean, in his first game, it wasn't like, you know, just roll the balls out. He had to do a lot of coaching, a lot of substitution. Deontay, take it, Steve. John, John, go get Matt. Dwayne! Get Sandy. Yeah, it was a tough game to coach. Obviously, the emotions and energies of, of the first game. We had some guys who were injured. And Derek Wilson, who's a key player, we had amazing foul trouble. Matt, have two. And so we were constantly managing a game in ways that were unusual. And so it wasn't a traditional game in terms of coaching because of, you know, what the game situations brought. I believe they got Dwayne Wilson on his fourth personal foul. Well, the, the reason it was a challenging game to coach is because that was difficult to try to manage the substitution pattern. Sandy! Sandy, get there, get there. And then you get Matt Carlino in foul trouble. Smith in the lane and got a foul. Looked like Carlino perhaps on the bump, bump and now a technical foul call called on Carlino as well. All of a sudden, now you have your two most experienced guards not available for a stretch of time. Settle down, settle down. You're going to be good, okay? So what substitution combinations 
do I put in the game is what he's thinking. What do you guys think about putting got anybody else in? Keep this lineup. You know, we have a very young team, and we have guys who have never been in uh, the positions that they are having to be in right now. And so I was worried for them and how they would respond. Lock in, White! Lock in! Hey! But I thought they responded really well. Yeah! Anderson one-on-one -on -one against Juan Anderson and then threw it away. Johnson to Juan Anderson! Nine oh run by the Golden Eagles and they come to their feet! Yeah! At the Bino Harris Bradley Center in Milwaukee. He charged to me. He was just excited because we were just playing hard, playing together. Do not let up. Do not let up. We played too well. We've got to be smart. On this end, everybody's got to rebound. A shot goes up. We got to get bodies on people. We need five guys in the paint. Be solid, OK? Here we go. Come on, come on. Come on. Got rebound. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Carlino squares up, and the lucky buries a triple. Exclamation point for the Golden Eagles. And this one is in the books. I was thinking about that game weeks before, because I knew it was going to be Bozo's first game. I wanted to be the first one to congratulate him on his first win. So if you watch like the end of the game, like I ran right to him and told him congratulations on your first win. Congratulations to Coach Steve Wojciechowski. His first career coaching victory. This is Coach's first win, and it was our first win as a team, so it was a super special moment. I mean, I hugged Coach on the floor because I just wanted to get him right then and there. Like, I was so happy for him. I was so happy for us. So it was, it was just a really special moment, like, for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Carlino, Derek, and I were talking about jumping on Wojo when he came in. I didn't know if we should make a huge deal out of it because I didn't know how Wojo was going to react. Well, some guys were joking and saying, let's pick him up. But I'm like, we didn't win the national championship. You know, we won our first game. But at the same time, it's his first win. And it was exciting for me, so I, I can only imagine how exciting it is for him. Yeah! I didn't think he was ready for it, but he was more ready for it than us. He had been probably thinking about it more than more than us. He, he was so jacked up. That is a moment I'll remember for the rest of my life. The first win in my senior year, uh, helping Coach Rojo get his first win. You have to enjoy that. I mean, it's, you work like crazy for decades upon decades, and you dream about those moments. And our guys responded. You know, they, they did what we asked him to do and uh, I wanted to share it with him you know and I'll always remember that locker room.